Oh, dude, yeah. You've been rocking that long hair your whole life or what? No, nah, that's just a recent thing. You okay. know, uh, probably within the last, I think, six to eight months. Oh, wow. Yeah, because uh, my wife, uh, what happened was I grew the beard and the mustache, and then the hair started getting long, and she's like, you do know that Sam Elliott is my favorite actor, right? And you look a lot like Sam Elliott. I said, I don't look nothing like Sam Elliott. <laughs> like, dude, I, I need the hair this long. I need you to keep it. So, hey, it's for my wife. I'm not, I'm not, I, I tell my grandkids when I, you know, a year ago, two years ago, I'd always tell them, dude, get a haircut. <laughs> and then, yeah, you're that guy now. <laughs> Now I'm that guy. Well, yeah, I don't control my hair either. My wife's in full control of what I look like. Easy. Oh, yeah. You know, there's one saying in life, happy wife, happy life. That's right. There's also a saying we like to say on the Fantasy Golf Pod. It's hashtag mega profit. And you did it. You won. Big league. Yeah, I'm here talking right now with the man himself, the legend, Scott Stewart. If you haven't been retweeted by Scott, you, you're not doing Twitter right. That's all right. I know. Uh, Stewie, one nine six three on DraftKings. Scott ST nineteen sixty three on Twitter. You got to follow him. You you took down three different GPPs yesterday, which is the American Express. Oh, uh, the American Express. Tell us how did you do this? Give us some well, more info on this. Like we're so excited for you. The whole community loves it. Well, about a year ago, I, uh, Fantasy National Golf Club gave me a lifetime membership. Wow, wow. So um, I, I have a membership uh, to Fantasy National Golf Club. It took me probably close to a year mm -hmm. to get familiar with, um, you know, some of the um, ins and outs of their site and how to use it and how to research. And mm -hmm. so something I haven't done, I, I mean, I've played golf my whole life. Okay. And, um, it's just I, I can't thank them enough. Them and Ao and Jeff Feinberg. Oh yeah. Um, you know, like my process is I listen to every golf pod I can listen to. Nice. I mean, I crunch it for days and days, and then I use the Fantasy National website, and it helps me uh, make decisions on my picks. Okay. So you entered all three of the twenty max contests yesterday, or? Thursday. So do, do you normally do that? Is that typically what you do each week? Yeah, I, I generally enter like the 10 center, the 25 center and the dollar. And what I do is, um, I, like I said, I use the optimizer over at Fantasy National and I generate 20 lineups based upon the information I get from the site and all the web, web uh, the, the uh, podcasts that I listen to. Okay. Um, take notes on every podcast. Like I'll at the top of the paper, I'll write the date, the tournament, the year, uh, the person that was on the pod, and I take notes. Mm -hmm. And then that way, next year, I'll have a compiled list of notes from every tournament so I can go back and look and see how it went last year based upon my notes. Okay. And it's just – it's taken me a year or so to compile enough notes to where I can actually look back and, you know, see how things went. Sure. How did you get on Andrew Landry? What podcast did you listen to that got you onto the man? The one that uh, one at one per point one percent on. Yeah, that's what what happened is. <clears throat> I've been starting to use the um, the percentage owned. Okay. You know, uh what they're owned at, and I use the Fantasy National Golf. They give you uh, a percentage of what they're owned in the Fantasy National um, on the site where people are playing them. Right. And I noticed that um, Landry was really low, and I kind of positioned off of him, uh, positioned off to him uh, from my pick for the week. Okay. Um, and um, him and um, Straka was the two guys that I – and bingo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, Dude, Fantasy National has been on Landry. They've been showing me Landry. I just have been ignoring yeah. it. They show Straka too sometimes. Well, the thing is, is the percentage, the uh, own percentage for them guys mm -hmm. was very low. And I liked what I saw as far as the numbers go. So I, I, I positioned off of a couple of golfers onto them and that were higher owned. So 
Well, um, so now, how many players did you use in your player pool? Well, that's interesting. I, I pared it down to about 65. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And then I, I take a core of players, probably about eight. Okay. Uh, at Fantasy National, when you do their uh, optimizer, you can put a core of players in. Um, also, I mess with the uh, percentages. You can actually tell the optimizer what percentage you want to use of each. Sure. And then you, once you generate your lineups, you can look at where they're at and how many you're playing. And you're like, well, this guy I'm playing 10 times and this guy I'm playing four. Well, I want some more. I want to even it out a little bit. So I'll move players. And that's the beauty of Fantasy National. It, it really does. If you know what you're looking for and you have an idea as to where, what uh, information you need to make an educated decision, because they don't pick your players for you. But you. You've got all the info to make an educated decision. Now, is this the first time you've won Big League? Have you done any GPP wins before? Uh, yeah, this is basically the first time that I've won big. I've been making my money back or losing a little bit. Um, I did have one breakthrough that I have to mention that has nothing to do with golf. I played the free showtime boxing. Okay. You know, and I won 500 bucks in a swag bag and from show of uh, showtime. And uh, that was awesome. DK, it was a free tournament. So. Um, now, as far as I, you, you seem like you're basically sponsored by fantasy national. Would you suggest anything else for new users to try to cash a mega profit? What, I mean, do you have advice for anyone new? Yeah, well, you know, like I said, I have the advantage that I don't work. I'm disabled. Okay. So I'm a lot. Um, so I have a lot of time to do research. Okay. But I, I know that a lot of times you can say to yourself, gee, well, why do I have to do this? Why don't I just put in a lineup? No, dude, that's not how you win. No, you're right. You're going to lose more than you're going to win. Trust me. Oh, yeah. I've been there. So so you, you suggest just doing a lot of research, studying the stuff, using the fantasy national to kind of help you choose players. This is like what we say each week. Yeah, basically what everybody else does. And they call it grinding. Mm -hmm. Pretty much what I do. I grind. I what are you going to do with your 2000 bucks? So you paid 90 bucks. What did you, how did, I mean, you want $2,000. What are you going to do with that money? Yeah. Um, I'm going to, like I said, I, I support a charity called, uh, I don't know if you've heard about it. Shriners hospital oh, for sure. Oh yeah. For kids. Um, I do a monthly donation to them. Um, um, well, I, that doesn't surprise me. Scott. You're one. like the nicest person ever. You're really just like everyone loves you, dude, and we're so thrilled for you, and we're happy for you. And that's why I wanted to bring you on, give you an opportunity to show yourself, talk about your process. I mean, this is your role. You're bragging. You got to brag when you when you win because you don't win a lot, right? No, I don't. Um, but I guess nobody wins a lot, really, when you no. think about. It. Right. I mean, I, no, no. Shout out to Pat Mayo, but look at his record. Oh yeah, no. He's won. He's won a couple big ones, but yeah. I mean, he grinds every week, does the same stuff, studies, yeah. pours over all the stats and all the names, and he's just. I mean, it's, it's really tough to get those hashtag mega profits to win a thousand dollars cash a comma, dude. I can't believe it. You did it. Great. Do you have anything you want to say about yourself, or you want to t take the time to thank people, shout out, anything like that? Yeah, I want to shout out to Pat Mayo and Jeff Feinberg and you guys and. You know, I, I love all you guys. Uh, Wiley, I mean, there's a whole list of people, and if I forgot somebody, I'm I'm really sorry. Okay, but, don't forget Cecil. Yeah, Cecil. Oh yeah, if you got gotta have Cecil in there, man. He sure. he was on the beginning, man. Oh yeah. He, well, and, I was gonna say. Also, I want to shout out to Sal. Sal Goodman, DFS. Yeah. Uh, no, Sal. Um, oh, Vetri. Uh, yeah, Vetri. Oh, yeah, God, yeah, he's I, a genius. Too. Yeah, he's awesome. I couldn't believe the number of people that retweeted you and liked it and hashtagged it. It was great. I mean, it's it just yeah, proves my wife. I took me. It took me forty minutes just to get caught up with everybody. I'm so saying it proves. They really, it really does. It says a yeah. lot about who you are as a character, buddy. And honestly, we respect you, appreciate you, and everything for us. I did notice that you've only been on Twitter for one year since 2019 January. Yeah, that's right. You've tweeted seventy thousand times. Yeah, I know. <laughs> What's up with the with the retweets? Are you, that's just your thing. 
Yeah, that's my thing. Um, I, I really want to support the DFS community. I mean, you got a lot of great people in there. You got Gup. You got. I mean, there's a lot of people. Nagel's Bay. I mean, there's just a lot of good people in DFS community. And uh, I lost my daughter, you know, in uh, about a year ago. Oh, I've seen your uh, she has uh, she had diabetes, and I lost her. I'm sorry, she was 30 years old. But um, the DFS community, DFS community, put their arms around me, and they were super, and they were all wonderful people. And you guys are all wonderful. And yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, no, I, I and thank you for taking the time to do this, buddy. And like, we really, honestly, you've been one of the, the integral parts of our pod. We your feedback. We, are appreciative of what you do for us and thank you. So I just want to say thank you. Congratulations. And really, you deserve it. You really do. Thanks, Chad. I appreciate it, buddy. But you're the man, dude, and you just keep grinding away, right? Keep grinding away, man. Do it again. All right. All right, buddy. Thanks again, and we'll see you. Uh, we'll do it again sometime for sure. All right, man. Hey, thanks. Thanks a lot, man. Talk to you later, Scott.